almost be to our final destination to the top of the waterfall. So you can see behind me, the water's starting to rush. I can't wait to see the top. <laughs> We're here. The waterfall is about 50 feet of drop. You can really feel the mist here. Wow, the drop that comes down and there's the force of the running water. And this is actually the water source for all the villagers in Yalapa. Oh, it's really refreshing. It's been so hot in the boat ride and walking up the street. Just the breeze here and the mist. Whew. Just gorgeous. This is about as secluded as it gets. It's extremely lush, the greenery, everything just completely fed by this mist. It's just gorgeous. And now, the waterfall, I've been told that all the locals here swim here. So, how can I not really give it a try? Channeling my inner thrill seeker, I closed my eyes and threw myself into the wild waters of the waterfall. It was like a scene out of Romancing the Stone. The water was going so fast that you had to tread water and fight against the current just to stay in one spot. Make sure you keep your head above water and your feet out in front of you, just in case you get a little bit too close to the rocks. Looking back at this, swimming in water this fast, I probably should have had a life jacket on, or at least a pair of water wings, and I definitely should have stuck to the golden rule of swim with a buddy. Oh, hola chica. ¿Cómo te llamas? Mary. Oh, this is Mary. <laughs> it must be so beautiful to live here. Everyone is so friendly and salt of the earth. <laughs> You're sweet. How old? She's two years old, Mary. Oh. Two years old, living here in the beautiful village of Yalapa. Oh, look at her little nail. Your nail polish, eh? Saluda con la mano, Mary. Así. Así. Hola. Aww. Hasta luego, Mary. <laughs> Adorable. I can't say enough about Jalapa, but most especially the people of Jalapa. When the only way that you can get to a place like this is by boat, it does something to the people living there. It binds them together and keeps life simple. And be careful if you're not the hugging type, since it's not uncommon for complete strangers to come up and welcome you with open arms. There's a real sense of community here. Even the dogs befriend you on site. I really don't want to leave, but there's more exploring coming right up for us.